it's a powerful group out there. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Virtual Comedy Show. I'm Brad Tassel, along with our stars, Steve Goody, everybody, and Yay! Patty Vasquez. Yay! We bring you music and comedy from all around the small group of people we know. <laughs> <laughs> but we do know a lot of entertaining people. And this week, we have a very special guest. We have uh, Chicago comedy legend, Tim Walco, everybody. Ooh. And of course, musical guest genius, Power Salad, which, yes. uh, which uh, changed one word and it'd be dirty. So uh, <laughs> I, you're, you'll notice I'm, my energy is going to be a little low. I am still not it near 100% from getting sick uh, last Wednesday. Uh, I was miserable the entire night, man. I, that, that Tuesday night, I didn't sleep. I was sweating. I was freezing. I had body aches and I had to cancel going to the ship, which, you know, really cost me a lot of money. Uh, cause I didn't know what was wrong. Uh, by the way, it's just a really bad sinus infection. So mm -hmm. the next morning I drag myself out of bed, go to the doctor and I'm negative for COVID negative for flu. Then they send me driving all the way across town, feeling like death to get a chest x-ray to see if it's pneumonia. And then they send me across town again to get prescriptions that aren't even ready. So I go <laughs> home, I'm feeling like death. I can't hardly move. I then I have to get back in the car, drive back to get the prescription. And I had probably put 15 or 20 miles on the car. And as I'm going to get those prescriptions, my engine blows. Uh, the coils go out. Oh, crap. So now Ooh. I'm coughing and the car is putting. I'm like, so we're both on our last legs, is what was going on. Huh. So oh, I drove the last until the car dies. I got to oh. the dealership. Uh, but then I realized something. If you think of this, if I had not canceled that ship, if I'd have been well, and I'd have started to drive to yeah, Nashville. Yeah. It's 60 miles to Nashville. I would have only gotten maybe 30 miles at 4.30 in the morning before my car would have Ooh. broken down on the highway. Ooh. So I getting sick saved me from missing my flight. Isn't that amazing? That's uh, fantastic. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, sadly, though, the uh, cost of this prescription is now $23,000. <laughs> new car. Come on, that can't be right. You, well, be you ask what a mini costs, and that's about what it costs to get one. And that's oh, a used okay. one. So forget all that, and let's try these jokes that I uh, written in a fog. Here we go. <laughs> the Drachnid. Is that how you say that? Anybody know? Drachnid. The Meteor. Kevin, you should know. What's the Meteor called? Yeah, Kevin, you know things. Yeah. I think it's Drachnid. Tim, Tim Walco is trying to get in yeah. again, and I'm looking yeah. at you, Tim. That's kind of funny. We're going to have two of them. <laughs> All right. The well, I thought, the expert there. Okay. Well, it says That's the Drachnid time. meteor shower will fly by the Earth about 11 p.m. tonight, if you want to go out and look at it, with about 10 mm -hmm. meteors streaking by per hour. Each meteor has one thing in common, and that is they all, as they get closer to the Earth, will roll up their windows and lock their doors, because this is a bad neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, boom. Uh, <laughs> oh wow flames were visible underneath a frontier airlines flight what the made a hard landing in las vegas where the tires blew out and there was smoke in the cockpit okay. wow passengers Ooh. said it was probably one of the top 10 flights, ah. <laughs> top 10 flights. <laughs> by the way technicians are checking out the plane and they said they found the cause of the near wreck and that was someone was allowed to bring on a backpack that was one inch larger than the bin. So uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, there you go. Oh, so pay that $99, kids. <laughs> Pope Francis, our favorite friend. Pope Francis has selected 21 new cardinals <laughs> in a sign that soon they will need to elect a new pontiff. Wow. Ooh. Yeah, the Pope chose bishops from all over the world who will come to the Vatican for meetings and to see who will win the smooth talking altar boy contest. Ah. <laughs> always Billy. It's always Billy that wins that. That's right. They're smooth talking the altar boys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here it is. Everyone's so excited. The New York Liberty beat the Las Vegas Aces to advance to the finals of the WNBA tournament. Yes. Uh, they yes. will uh, now play another team that doesn't have Caitlin Clark. So nobody cares. 
<laughs> Full links. And I must pause because my computer claim unplugged and my battery's dying. Oh, oh my. Last okay. Night. I'm back. All right. Uh, All right. I'm glad it happened tonight rather than on your halfway to Nashville at 4.30 in the morning. I didn't go. I didn't go. So. I know, but you can By the way, did y'all hear that nobody cared that the WNBA, after Caitlin left, the games are like 2,000 people showing that they're not. It's very <laughs> sad. Okay. Next up, I'll be through in a minute and go to bed. <laughs> American scientist Victor, here's, come on, this is American pride. American scientist Victor Ambrose and Gary Rufkin have won the Nobel Prize for Medicine, yep, Ooh. for discovering the microRNA molecule, which right. plays, a crucial, right. plays a crucial role in determining uh, molecule, the characteristics of RNA and is a fundamental principle governing how gene activity is regulated. So uh, right. next up, next up for the pair, uh, millions of basement-dwelling jobless right-wing nuts We'll call them to be a, for to, them to be arrested because they don't want no RNA making them women. <laughs> no women. I know. I need to work on how the mouth works on some. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tough when they get that wordy, but you want to get it all in. You know what I mean? As insane Ian said this weekend, he forgot to pay his mouth bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no fact checking. <laughs> oh my gosh tell me if you understand this put that anywhere <laughs> two best friends in florida were surprised when they found out they both delivered babies on the same day in the same hospital they were also amazed at how much their two sons looked alike and how their fathers were never in either of their rooms at the same time Mm. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> the same guy. I'm gonna explain. Mm -hmm. same guy. Okay. Uh, oh my god! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Anchorage. Up. Oh, your dad always comes in. We knows it's about yeah. over. <laughs> Anchorage's annual Fat Bear Week is on hold after a male bear killed a female bear in a fight over a picnic basket. Okay. <laughs> 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 pretty good, pretty good. You had to do a picnic basket joke. Okay, yeah. this story, there's no, this is just crazy. <laughs> Anybody thinking about getting married out there? We're all kind of old. Chuck, you think about getting married? Elena? Oh. Ask if this is your, these are weddings these days. A bride is taking heat because she sent invitations to guests in three tiers, right? The first batch was sent out six weeks before the wedding. Yeah. Then a lesser tier of guests three weeks and some not invited until three days before the wedding, which she called seat fillers. Oh, my God. Each <laughs> guest was then being charged $300 for their seat and had to RSVP immediately or lose their seat. So wow. the bride then went to social media after the ceremony to complain about how angry she was that none of her friends showed up to her special day. <laughs> <laughs> one, one friend did respond that they couldn't afford to cover the reception because they loaned all their money to the groom for a divorce lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> who, wanted to be, who wants to be married to that? Wow. Her pal. Do you ever pay to go to a wedding? Mm. Do you pay to go to a wedding? Never. That's crazy. Okay. No minimum. Sorry. No minimum. I know. And, and, I went to a wedding once that was outside and all I had was mints and I still wasn't happy. <laughs> and one of the, and one of the uh, bridesmaids, they, they didn't tell them they, they wore, they were outside and they had these yellow bridesmaids dresses where well, nobody mentioned them. And if you're outside and you're wearing a yellow dress, you can see right through the dress. And she wore, <laughs> she wore red and white and blue striped underwear that just beamed <laughs> out of this dress. The whole time. I remember this. Oh, nasty. Did you see the story about the bride who sued her? Her uncle raised her and mm -hmm. promised her that he'd take care of the wedding. And mm -hmm. uh, when it came time to get married, he said, I got $15,000 for you for your wedding. She needed fifty for the wedding she wanted, so she's suing him for the difference. Uh, oh, oh my God. God. I swear to God. I have a, I have a feeling she's not going to win that. <laughs> Bridezilla. Okay. Mm -hmm. My entire wedding was twelve hundred dollars. 
<laughs> wow. Yes. We never had one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Actually, it was $1,200 and we had a Thanksgiving meal because it was November 20th. We had a like a buffet, mm -hmm. a Thanksgiving buffet. We did not have open bar. People were mad about that. Okay, next up. <laughs> Another one where it's, it's weird. Luke Bryan yep. said his comments about Beyonce's CMA award snub were not negative. And everybody is thrilled that Cowboy, the Cowboy Carter album was out. But country music is a lot like a family. And even though technically Beyonce is a sister, country music only sleeps with her actual sister. That's bad. Inbreeding That's country bad. music. There's so there. bad. And now this is my favorite joke. And I'm not even sure it's funny in any way. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joker how we know it's two. yours. Anybody see Joker 2, by the way? No. Some nope. people are walking out of it. Oh, man. Yeah. Joker 2 is bombing at the box office as fans weren't told it's a musical. Yeah. <laughs> DC hopes to win them back with their next film, Behind the Green Lantern's Door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'd like to take a poll. Raise your hand if you understood that joke. Okay, Kevin, Tim, all, Steve Goody. Bob doesn't have a hand to raise, but he... Uh, and, and of course, Je well, Jeff, if you understood that joke, you need to get away from Chuck right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuck, look up behind the green door. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> or actually, don't. Okay, three more. Here we go. Eight bulls escape from a rodeo in a Massachusetts mall parking lot after breaking their pens down and running down the road. Seven were quickly captured, but the eighth one won't give up until it gets a fresh Annie Annie's pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> does not want to eat that crap that's been sitting in that heater all day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have left that. <laughs> Well, I should have left this one out, too, but we'll end strong. <laughs> the Supreme will. Court didn't hear an appeal from singer R. Kelly because the justices were playing, I believe I can fly at full volume in their chambers. <laughs> <laughs> His song they like. <laughs> Tile? What does that mean? It's a, it's a, it's a thing. We'll, we'll explain it later. All right. And the last one. Not bad. Only 30 minutes. Melania Trump's new memoir is out. And the first lady said she is proud that growing up, her family bred an onion that is famous all over the world. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Mm. Uh, she also said what she's most embarrassed about, and that is all the time she's had to juice the orange. Oh. <laughs> Brad Castle, everybody! Hey! That was... 